Links here and welcome to Fluffy and Daisy! A visual novel? I don't know what it might be about. Fluffy and Daisy. Daisy and Fluffy. Let's see. Finally, I have some time to myself! I should. Okay, that's a bit too fast, as always. Uh, text speed. I should take advantage of this! Hmm, but what to do? It's early evening, so the guards will be out on the patrol. And did he, if I think... He said he'd be in some important meeting. Hmm... What if Fluff is around? She's always fun. Okay, let's see. If I were a tentacle monster, where would I be? Hmm... Heading in someone's bedroom. Let's start there. Holy crap, she has some rock. Anyway, Daisy shuffled down the castle corridors, humming to herself. The door to her bedroom creaked open and she stepped inside. Fluffy, you in here? She glanced around her room, looking for any signs of life, when something caught her eye. Her bed sheets began to ripple with movement and little pink face poked out. It was Fluffy. She was a very unusual pet. A crossbreed between a tentacle monster and a dr dragon. Okay. Let's try not to imagine how that happened. Yeah, let's not. However, the result was something rather adorable. Oh, there you are! Daisy shuffled over and began to stroke Fluffy's ears. Have you been sleeping this whole time? Fluffy slithered out of the covers, nodded her head. Mm. She made quiet, a hissing noise agreeing with the princess. Oh, you lucky thing! Fluffy nuzzled Daisy's legs, then looked up at her and hissed. No one could ever really tell what the little monster was thinking or saying except Daisy. Some said she had a special gift, whatever it was, it was useful. Fluffy hissed at her again. How's my day been? Oh yeah, it's been pretty productive. We had a few visitors from neighboring kingdom. Very exciting. They wanted to arrange uh, a special meeting for some uh, boring royal things. You don't need to know the details. Fluffy giggled and waved one of her tentacles. Yeah, <laughs> they all seem friendly enough. It's just surprising how innocent that kingdom seemed. They won't be after I'm done with them. Still, it secures trade routes to and from their kingdom, so it all works out well for everyone. Fluffy nodded. So, since I finished all my work early today, I thought I'd come and hang out with you. We could go for a nice walk, or how about I visit the cook and have her make us a nice little giant? Okay. Daisy was quickly cut off by Fluffy, slowly coiling around her legs. Well, I think that's answered that question. Hey, stop moving around! I can't walk with you there! <sniffs> Fluffy ignored her and continued to coil around Daisy's waist. Fluffy's dead, uh, that's a little tight. Another coil snaked over her bust, and she came face to face with her owner. Daisy could hear Fluffy giggling herself as she wriggled her shoulders, trying to get out. Fluffy! It seemed like every movement she made was being restricted by Fluffy's coils. And she wasn't finished, she started to sneak around the back of her head. Daisy had to think fast before the little monster wrapped her whole body up. Uh, bribe her with food. Bribe her with some kind of delicious food sounded like a good idea. Fluffy, no way of playing around with you, but the sooner you let me go, the sooner we can get something to eat. The little tentacle stopped and its six beady eyes blinked at her. You could tell she was trying to think about the situation. Play with her own nurse's squishy body or eat. Her coiling stopped, followed by a little hiss, which meant something along the lines of Can we eat now and then play later? Daisy nodded her head. Her plan had worked and she felt the coils loosening around her body. Fluffy quickly slithered off out in the corridor, leaving Daisy alone. <sighs> Daisy quickly straightened her dress and tidied her hair. 
angry and angry till he came from outside the corridor. Fluffy, don't be so impatient. I'm coming, I'm coming. The corridors were dimly lit with candles, but she could see Fluffy's eyes glowing brightly in the distance. Hey, 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 come back here! Daisy followed Fluffy out onto the into the corridor. The little tentacle hissed at her, hoping it would speed her along. No, I'm not slow! You're just too keen! I remember I can't slither everywhere like you! The two made their way through the castle together. Very close to the kitchens when something caught Daisy's attention. Is that the tea leaf I can hear? <laughs> her, eyes sh her eyes lit up as she looked around trying to figure which door it was coming from. Fluffy grumbled impatiently. She pressed her ear up against the door frame. Mm -hmm. mm, sounds like the usual boring stuff. Well, it wouldn't hurt me popping in and saying hello now, would it? Fluffy slid up to Daisy's legs trying to stop her. We can get food after this. Fluffy hissed back. Is that a threat? Daisy raised her hands up to the door. Just one quick peek, it will do them good seeing me. I'm sure they've been bored out of their mind all day. Fluffy shook her head and tugged Daisy's arm. Daisy's other son raised to knock the door and a long sticky tentacle flew at her, pulling both hands behind her. As she attempted to move her arms, but felt a long sticky tentacle wrap around her wrist. Fluffy stared blankly. Hey, come on, don't be so spoiled! A spoiled sport! I can see my husband at least once during the day! You have a husband? Fluffy continued to stare and gave another quick tug on Daisy's wrist. Oh, stop it, Fluffy! I'm the princess! I have say over some of the things! Fluffy shook her head. What do you mean, after food? He could be gone by then! Now let me go! Daisy jerked her arms trying to get out. Go to the kitchens, demand her to let go. Go to the kitchens! Daisy looked down at her pet holding tightly onto her arms. She let out a defeated sigh. <sighs> I just wanted to pop in and say hi to him! <laughs> Fluffy glared at her. I guess you're right, I'll probably get a little distracted. Okay, come on, let's go! Fluffy's binding began to drip off Daisy's skin, leaving a clear sticky goop. She stretched her arms and shook off whatever goop she, she could. Well, the stuff you made seems pretty good for the skin. Arms feel really soft now. You should sell this as a product or something. Fluffy blushes at the compliment and points at her droppy tongue. Oh, so it's like a really stucky, st sticky saliva. It's kind of gross, actually. But hey, if it's good for the skin, I'm sure people will buy it. Ha. Huh. Daisy kneeled down and stroked Fluffy's head. Hey, hey, come on, no more distractions now. Let's get moving. The two head off to the kitchens together. We knocked on the door to the kitchens. Oh, please come in. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh. Oh. Please come in! Oh, your highness! I'm so sorry, I didn't know it was you! Am I late bringing you tea? Please, please, one moment, I'll make you some right away! Eh, <laughs> it's okay, cook! We are just stopping by for some snacks! Fluffy nods her head. Mm. Oh, I thought I was in a spot hot water there. So, what can I do for you? Fluffy raised one of her tentacles. I said they take her here for the treat. Could you maybe make two for us, please? Of course, your highness. I'd be happy to. The cook got to work. Fluffy's eyes began to sparkle watching her construct the cake. She began drawing. Hang on, Missy. You need to wait until she's finished. Fluffy shook her head and began to slither towards the cook. Oi, don't mean ignore me. You have to... Daisy was quickly silenced by a large tentacle being forced into her mouth. The cook turned around to see the princess fighting her pet. Her eyes and mouth widened at the side of it, giving Fluffy a chance to silence her too. <laughs> Fluffy slithered up on the table and began to eat whatever she could see. Daisy managed to wrestle the tentacle out of her mouth and ran over to help the cook. Are you okay? Sorry about that. She gets a bit antsy every now and then. 
Oh, your highness, I'm fine. Thank you. I was just surprised. <laughs> well, you did have a tentacle force down your throat, so... They both turn and look at Fluffy. Oi, you little demon, stop that! Daisy stomped forward and grabbed Fluffy's body. Fluffy resisted and wringing out her arms, tipping a ball of icing all over herself. Her coast began to loop around Daisy's waist. Fluffy glances over at Cook and reaches out towards her. Before she could run away, she was dragged into chaos. Quickly, Fluffy made her way around both of their waists, pulling them close together. Cook blushed being so close to the princess. Oh, princess! Hang in there, Cook, we got this! I don't want this little demon devouring all your food! Yes, your highness. Daisy smiled and quickly looked around for a means of escape. <laughs> she reached forward and began to rub, to rub behind Fluffy's ears. The tentacle stops in her tracks and starts making a strange purring noise. Who's a naughty little girl? You! Yes, you are! The cook was confused. Is that working? Yeah, she has a soft spot for her for the ear wraps. Really? I never knew it was that simple. Hmm, well usually the little devil is clever and has my hands restrained. This time however it seems like she was a little too focused on her foot to care. Fluffy goes limp and lets them both go. Oof, uh -huh. wow, that's both pretty handy to know. Have you told any of the other stuff about this? I think a few of the mates know. Maybe I should tell everyone. Well, except he leave. <laughs> I don't think he would be happy to know about that. True, true. But he forgive me with a little persuasion. Uh, sorry, 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 sorry. I think I will accept he leave. Haha. <laughs> I don't think he would be too happy about that. True, true. But he'd forgive me with a little persuasion. The cook looks over the mess on the counter. Oh, your highness, would you like me to make you under cake? The last one. The two look down and see Fluffy lapping up the icing of the floor. Daisy sighs and smiles. Ah, no, it's fine. I'll just grab something later. Also, I think someone needs a bath. Fluffy turns around and smiles at Daisy. Welcome back, Missy. Are you done now? Fluffy nods her head. Mm -hmm. Right, come on then. Let's go get you cleaned up. Apologies again, Cook for the mess. Want me to call some mates to help you? Oh, it's no trouble, your highness. Go enjoy your bath. I'll see you both later. The two leave the kitchens and head to the baths. They both head along the winding corridors. Daisy looks back at Fluffy to see her leaving a trail of cake sprinkles behind her. Oh, look at you! All sticky fluffy, let me carry you! I don't want screeching anymore, this! Hmm, Fluffy nods. She slid it up to Daisy's body and began to slowly coil around her. Ah, that feels so gross! Stop moving your tentacles like that! Fluffy slides one of her tentacles down between the breasts. Ah, Fluffy, no! Okay, take it back, you don't feel weird with just the frosting make you really sticky! Now get your tentacle out of there, please! She shuffled her body, trying to shake the little sticky tentacle from her cleavage. Suddenly, they were both greeted with a familiar deep voice. Your Highness! Tea leaf! Evening, my love. How have you been? Oh, darling, it's been crazy thanks to this little thing. Hmm, do tell. This goes on to explain all that has happened during the day. Hmm, my, my. Love you, have been indeed, indeed been keeping her busy. Fluffy nods and smiles at him. Hey! Well, my dear, I'm sorry, I must cut things short for now. Huh? But why is that? I'm meeting the fair you spoke to this morning, my dear. We arranged meetings this evening so we can discuss the trade routes and provide protection along the borders. Oh, that sounds pretty important. I was going to say, would you like to come back with us? No, you were not. Tea leaf stops and his face turns red. Hmm. Don't you like the fo- Sorry. Don't you like the photo of that? Fluffy bobs Daisy's forehead before she gets carried away. Ahem, <clears throat> my dear. 
I would love it, but... Yeah, yeah, sweetie, duty calls. I'll see you later. Lady Wings, he bows back and heads off. Right, bath time! Uh, might be something we won't be showing here. The two head off into the baths. Oh, it feels so good. Fluffy? What? Where did you go, Missy? I know you're hiding in... Oh! She felt one of the Fluffy's tentacles slip on her legs. Oi! Get your tentacles off that and put them where I can see them! Fluffy's little face popped up from the bubbles. <laughs> it's like you're wearing bubbly, a bubbly little hat. They scooped more of the bubbles up and added them to Fluffy's head. Fluffy splashed her back with water. <laughs> Come on now, don't like that. Now let me give you a scrap. I can imagine that's feeling too great for you. Fluffy purred and brushed her over her body and snuzzled her face between the breasts because why wouldn't she? You're going to get a little sleepy too. Hey, tell me about it. Just a little more, Fluffy, and we can have a nap together if you like. Fluffy nodded and did as she was told. There we go, good as new. Fluffy hisses, thanking her. It's no problem, sweetie. She stretched her arms and yawned. Ah, now how about have a little nap here? I need some energy for tea leaf later. <laughs> they both shut their eyes and drifted off together. And so ended the evening for this pretty princess. Thank you all for playing. See you in the next game. Tell me what kind of other games you've made. Hmm, good question. There is one on each of you. <laughs> Maybe there will be more, right? That was pretty decent. S short story. Kind of what I was looking for because I already made one video tonight. Uh, and wanted to do another one still. But it's after two, so... Would be a good idea to get some sleep. I would say. Probably. <laughs> uh, hope you guys enjoyed. It was interesting. I I, I expect there being some completely different outcomes if you do a different choice. Uh, so I guess if you want that, uh, head to each.io and get the game from there. With us, with me over here, only the safe, absolutely safe games. Safe routes and so on. Or, or routes that we make safe, sort of kind of for YouTube. Uh, yeah, that was nice. Again, short story. I enjoyed it. I'm gonna follow the death everywhere I can, as always. Because I always do that. As it's helpful. Dude, it would be interesting to... No, it would not. For me, not. Would be interesting... I guess for woman to have a dragon slime, a slime dragon. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Is it not on VNDB? It's not on VNDB, damn it. Uh, happens, I guess. Uh, follow on each as well, as always. Oh, already following, okay. Daisy Pink. I mean, I think from the game you could already see. That person does some good artworks as well, to be fair. Anyway, that would be it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this short story. Uh, tomorrow we are getting another game. I don't know yet what it would be. But there will be something, that's for sure. If you enjoyed, you know, like comment if you would like a dragon tentacle slime no dragon tentacle as your pet uh subscribe if you aren't already it would be much appreciated as always uh there's also twitter instagram twitch to which you can go sometimes something happens there 
That's it. I'm out. Have a wonderful day, night. I'm going to bed before so I can get some sleep before work. Uh, bye bye.